Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode if you don't remember we went ahead and well we got hired to defend an action star who was accused of murdering his co-worker Jack Hammer who haha ha, funny pun name I forgot to point that out last time. Their names are Jack Hammer and Will Powers. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to go ahead and just investigate around the place because, well, yeah, that's all we really have to do. Detective, see this? This is my attorney's badge. Uh-huh. Don't you think it's a little sad when you have to explain what your badge means, pal? Real men show their PD badge and that's that. I'll admit the design of my badge leaves a lot to be desired. Maybe it should be a big L for a lawyer. I'm not so sure about that. That's one of my favorite lines in the game. Got the camera up here that took the photo of Powers. Hey, there's a camera here. That's the security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went there. There's a number plate on the camera. ST1307. That must be the camera ID number. Got the bench. I'm a little bushed. Maybe I'll take a short rest here. He's a little bushed and he's gonna take a rest next to the bushes. Hey, good idea, pal. Detective, aren't you on the case? W well, yeah, but... Hey, us detectives get tired of standing around too, pal. Got this. I don't even know how to describe it. Just this. The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? holding a sign in his hand. Right, to Studio 1. Left to Studio 2. What's up with that thing? It looks kinda... busted. I mean, that's one way to describe something with its head chopped off. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. It took that tree down with it, too. I wonder how, like, people who are better at math than me, like, how much force would it take to knock the head of a, a statue off? Like, obviously, like, we don't know how much it weighed or anything like that, but it seems pretty big compared to, like, the size of these trees. That must have been some pretty strong wind. The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and, and, and check it out, Nick. Hey, it's locked. Looks like you need a card key to get in. It makes sense that they would want to keep the non-employees out. Okay, so here's the start of a debate. Do you refer to the little cards that work as keys as key cards or card keys? Because I've honestly swapped between the two over the past couple years. Nick, look. That security lady's in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Hey, you! Well, are you satisfied? Power are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? Urk. She had to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm? Oh that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to take talk with the detective himself. I'm going with a bit of a high pitched and gravelly voice. And so now when I think of that, I'm going to start thinking of Toad like, Oh, hello! These things are important, you know! Oh god, the Audacity file is out of control now. Oh, just to the left of me, here's the gate with the camera, with the camera that took the photo! <coughs> <coughs> I'm never doing that again. It's my job. Uh, it's my job to check the photos every day, you see? Ah. Uh, Automatic camera. About the security camera. Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. Now I'm just gonna. I I'm trying to go back to the voice I did before, but it's automatic. You can tell when someone walks through that gate. You see, then it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer. Over in the security guard station. I can't do the voice again, so I'll just do Toad. 
like a weird toad voice. I check him every day before going home, I do. Now I kind of sound like Marge Simpson. Oh, me. Uh, reason for suspicion. This guard station is in a central position. I think I got it. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now, poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before one. The murder happened right around 2.30, you see. The only one I seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. And the security camera got a good look of him, too. If he's not the one that did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? Yeah! <laughs> good one, Sonny. He thinks I was joking. And finally, Mr. Hammer. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Past tense? Yeah, because he's dead. <laughs> oh, yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate? It's a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? I know we already presented it, but have you seen my attorney's badge? Uh, it's just the same stuff. I should have expected that. Now we have the employee area. October 16th, Global Studios employee area. Nick! This is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey look, there's Powers' dressing room. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. So yeah, this is a pretty big area because you can slide around. We'll go from left to right. Examine. Metal grate on the drain here has to be taken off. Er, must be. That's a pretty big drain. Kids could fit through there, I bet. Yeah, if you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay the gate. Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest. Right. Huh? Hey, I'm not a kid. There's a half-finished paint. There's a half-finished backdrop for a stage here. Looks like a castle, probably Neo Old Tokyo Castle. Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? Also, uh, people who have played Ace Attorney uh, before, like played through the series and stuff like that. We're, we're getting close, but not yet. Anyway, got the table here. The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone steak on one of the plates, or T-bone on the, one of the plates minus the steak. Mmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? Now I'm hungry for steaks. Got the garage looking door back here. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? Got some. Got a vending machine? Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh. So. normal. I was expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. Wait, look, Samurai Soda. Nick, try this. Ladies first. Now I'm hungry for popcorn. Got a window here. Window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Got the little sign here. There's a sign on the dressing room door. Well, it's not on it. It's next to it. Mr. Will Powers. It looks to me like it just says Will Powers. It must be neat to be the star and have your own room like this. And finally, the door. The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick, let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find something as a souvenir? What do you mean, find? You never know. There might be something like the samurai spear. We don't need a spear. And that's the murder weapon for crying out loud. The dressing room. October 16th, Global Studios Dressing Room. Powers' Dressing Room. So this is where he was sleeping. 
Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him take a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth, for his sake. Got another window, or is that the same window? It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it is kind of dusty outside, so that is the window to the out. Well, hold on, I need to see something. I don't know why, it's not important, but... So yeah, that is the same window. Huh. I always thought that it was just like a back window. But that's the same, like, divided into two spots, and it leads outside, so... Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. Got all the costumes over here. There's some regular suits among these costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one myself. <laughs> There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must have given these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. How many stomachs does this girl have? Now I'm hungry for sweets. <laughs> Got the wig over here. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Ooh, this is the wig he used in Samurai Boogie Woogie. Nick, try this on. No. How can you tell the name of the show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kinda like samurai movies. Kinda? We got this bag over here. Hmm? This must be Powers' bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! An employee card key. That must be Powers'. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow. You mean borrow. Card key added to the court record. And so, this is basically just what we do throughout the investigation segments of this case. Is you explore all of the parts of a room, you find something, you go back to a room. And, uh, I don't like to give my opinions on stuff this early into it. Uh, like, we're really early into case 3, we haven't even gotten to the first court segment yet. But, all I'm gonna say is that... If you uh, aren't enjoying this case, or at any point you don't enjoy this case because you think it's tedious, it's not just you. Um, a funny little thing about this series is that they have something called Third Case Syndrome, which is where, for some reason, well, there is a bit of a reason. Basically, every third case of a game, like, this is the third case of this game, the third case of the second game is considered bad. Like, all of them are considered, like, ranging from bad to meh. This one's a bit... This one is... This one isn't bad. Like, there's some later ones, like, in the second game that... Oh, that's certainly something. But anyways, enough of my opinion. You guys here to came here to watch me play a game. So, a bit of a weird thing is you have to actually examine the door first before you can go inside. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this card cable we borrowed from the dressing room with Studio One on it will open Studio One. It opened. <laughs> All right, we're in. He's way too happy for someone visiting the crime scene. October 16th, Studio One. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so... so real! Well, the evil magistrate did die here, and the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. <laughs> Uh, Phoenix is always coming in with, uh, sarcastic quips. Well, not really... What de what is the definition of a quip? Because, like... Phoenix is always sarcastic, I'll just say that. So, right here we have a, another large staple of the series. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? 
You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. R right. Sorry. This girl is out there. So yeah, that's a running gag in the Ace Attorney series, is whenever you investigate a ladder or a step ladder, is they'll have a little conversation about it. Hey look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone. A real live megaphone. Ready Nick? Action! This girl's more trouble than I thought. <laughs> Phoenix is kind of a jerk in, like, some of these earlier bits. They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looked like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few bloodstains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course, that's the mountain Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in, in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo old Tokyo. Oh, right. Got the film equipment. Wow, look at that camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Hey you, no touching that. Ah, um, sorry, my partner here is kind of, you know. You know? I know, I don't know. Um, who are you? Who me? I'm an assistant here. I'll just give her a basic lisp. I help with props and stuff. Moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? WP? Oh, Will Powers, WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit, but do what you can for WP, okay? He'd never hurt a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. Hey, have you ever seen my attorney's badge? Um, any thoughts about this? Sorry, I don't really want to think too much about what just happened just yet. I should have said sorry. Anyway. The day of the crime. Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yeah, I was in studio one. I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only fifth then on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studios aren't doing so well right now. And yesterday was the one more, was the only rehearsal for one of our action sequences. I see. Neat. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Whammer were there, along with everyone else. The, em the employee area? That's where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yeah, that's the place. I'm kind of turning into that old lady from Monsters, Inc. I forget what her name is. It's like Roz or something like that. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to the studio one. And then saw WP go into a dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. And then Will Powers. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had the murder message for him. I mean, it's his private. What kind of a girl do you think I am? What kind? No, I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. So much for getting confirmation of Powers' alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry, but I, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that. But that day, this afternoon, I sent someone who was here. You sensed? Yeah, I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> and several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. 
the only thing we have scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. R really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks, that helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. And we'll do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, we'll finish talking to Penny here. Her name is Penny Nichols, which is a pun off of Penny, Pennies and Nichols. But based off of the whole sensing people thing, you'd think her last name was Parker. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!